The Butler 3000 will revolutionize society, seeing to all the menial jobs that distract mankind from new challenges. The Butler 3000 itself cooks, sweeps, mops, gardens, makes household repairs, you name it. And when uploaded to a central mainframe, Butler 3000 can wirelessly control all technology in the house, tailored to your specific needs. At last, technology to take care of all the mindless little tasks I've never had to figure out how to do for myself anyway. Buffett! <laughs> Is everything okay then, Mr. Floyd? Of course, as you can see, the Butler 3000 is also perfect for interior decorating. The Butler 3000 also <laughs> helps keep you fit and active. Yeah. Your time is soon at an end. And who doesn't like ominous threats? The Butler 3000 does it all! <laughs> Next up to bat for the Gypsy Moths, Miles Kramer. <laughs> Looking a bit nervous with rumors abound of a ghost haunting the team. Bad time for free poncho night. The steam rag! Whoa, he didn't even see that one coming. The oh. steam rag, too! Kramer's still not swinging. O2 count for our peaking batter. Oh, and he appears to be calling his shot. And the crowd loving his overconfidence. This is going to be a long one. He's telling the infield to get way back. Oh, Kramer was pointing to a ghost. Run for your life! Wow, Lady Annabelle, the famous consulting dog detective. You must be a loyal sidekick, uh, Dr. Hudson. I don't know what you're going to find that we didn't, but uh, Chief said to let you in. What is it, Lady Annabelle? What did you find? It smells like ground. I don't even know what I'm looking for. trail leads to that spooky building. Excellent, Lady Annabelle. Once again, you are so smart, and I am so useless. Cut! Seriously? Could we make that any more degrading? How about putting me on a leash? Charlene, that looked great. You've obviously been working with your ground-sniffing coach. It's sniffing the ground. No sniffs ground. I don't need a coach. Everyone take 20 while we set up the next shot. Okay, guys, it's this corner I don't like. I wish that statue wasn't casting a shadow. Oh, yeah, that's better. Huh? Uh, kids, do you want to help with the tent? Nah. Come on, put those things away. We're out here camping to appreciate the beauty of nature. But we're playing Virtual Camping 3. Yeah, and we've been desensitized to the beauty of nature. But you're missing stuff, like this majestic tree. Yes, the majestic tree level. How about that soaring eagle? It's soaring! Does it drop acorn bombs? We've been desensitized to soaring. We need acorn bombs to hold our attention. Okay, how about... A Viking ghost with a huge battle axe! How big is the axe? We've been desensitized to Norse weaponry under three feet long.
Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Must be less painful. I just let him catch me. <laughs> tape it's easy to tell who the bad guy is but in this courtroom it's my job to reveal who the monster really is yes the real bad guy is Fred Jones <laughs> Look at this wee little toy for this wee little boy. Oi! That's an expensive machine! No, lad. That's an expensive machine. Nigh indestructible. Look at the sheer size of it. <gasps> this little toy, on the other hand, I could crush with a single step. <gasps> in the name of the Emerald Isle. Ah, Elias Kingston University, my alma mater and my father's before me. You, my son, are following a proud family tradition. Even though I don't want to go here. Neither did I, nor my father before me. But we're Kingston material, so we do. That doesn't make sense. That's exactly what I said to my father. Wait, what? And I said that too, and he said exactly what I'm saying to you right now, word for word. How is that possible? That's what I said, and he said that, and that too. Leave my university! Okay, that's new. Yes, the costumes look wonderful, but I'd like to see more lace and more brass buttons overall. Take that down, Randolph. This year's Monster Mystery Party must be Wuthering Manor's finest. It's the first one that uses the terrible incident that happened in this house so many years ago. Oh, it still sends chills down my spine. <laughs> ah! Oh, that costume is terrible. What is that repulsive lump beneath the collar? That repulsive lump is my head, Lady Wuthering. Well, it won't do. Guests will be soon arriving to pretend to be people pretending to solve a pretend mystery while a pretend monster pretends to attack them. Every pretend detail must be perfect. Now, Randolph, where were we on our to-do list? I'm John a Goatling. His name is Steve. That name's not final. Okay. Well, let's prepare for our guests. Guys, all the stuff on the seafloor is off limits by law, okay? Hmm, but I really wanted some old, dirty, wet trash. <laughs> it might look like trash, but these objects were of great value to the people who threw them in the sea over the centuries. They dumped them overboard on purpose? Ugh, people of old were so lame. Hey, hey, with the mocking of our ancestors underwater. They considered it an offering. To who? Wow, look what I found. Were you not listening to the thing with the rules and the ominous warning? One little souvenir. Who's going to know? Back to the ship!
Not again. It was your fault. How do you figure? Just help me clean it up before the warden gets back. <laughs> Seriously? Someday we'll just have to escape this joint, like Steel and Stan. Ah, but Steel and Stan didn't escape. Nobody's that strong a swimmer. I heard he did make it out. I hear he didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Hey, put it. Like cut that? it out. Stop hitting yourself. 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 See? I told you didn't make it. Ah! The ghost of steel instead. I'm all done here, Joe. You almost finished? I want to get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Yep, almost done here. Biggest plane in the world seems to have the biggest problems in the world. Could have sworn I already fixed this panel. Tight. I'm coming down. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. All right, all right. I'm coming. Uh, 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 I'm almost there. Jeez, this is a big plane. All right. Now what's the? Hey, Fred. Chuck here at the dangerous, unexplored Zatari Caverns. Want to go on a treasure hunt with me? I'll take that as a, you're out of your mind. Whoa, a chasm. Hold on. Danger, do not enter. Good thing I'm not going to enter it. I'm going over it. Woohoo! Uh. Chuck one, chasm nothing. Hmm. Fred, where is your respect for history? You hear that? Eh, probably nothing. Oh yeah, I smell treasure. Huh? Okay, I'm not alone in here. Ah, Chuck under attack. Better send this video before it's too late. Ah! Open, select, ah! Address, mystery man, Fred at webnet.net. Could you get a longer email, Fred? Send, send, ah! Oh yeah, count it. Darren, what is wrong with you? The crystals react to sound, even whispering. You're whispering? I'm whispering to tell you not to whisper. It's still whispering. Count it. Stop whispering and stop counting it. Oh, I'll stop whispering, but I will not stop counting it. to the most exciting part of Bayou PS Swamp Tour, the famous Bayou Peppers, the hottest peppers in the world, which happen to be the main ingredient in my famous line of Bayou PS hot sauces. Hottest peppers in the world? Looks like regular old mud peppers to me. <laughs> Is that so? Here, pass this on back to our skeptical <laughs> friend to nibble on. Okay, that might be a little bit of an overreaction. Hey, now, that's not nice. I warned you they were hot. 
Disturb the slumber of Sobek! Put that back, Matt. You are such a child. I am not Matt. I am Sobek, guardian of this tomb. Do not mock me, and do not mock my pharaoh. Do not mock how many cats he had. So many cats. Do not mock his mandals, and never ever mock his unnecessarily long, pointy beard. Pointy. Matt, I wouldn't get near that thing. You know the legends about the wrath of Sobek? Ooh, wrath. No wrath. Wrath. No wrath. Wrath. No wrath. Wrath. No wrath. Wrath. Wow, you freak out too easy. <laughs> Okay, let's get a group picture. Yeah. Okay. What about you, dude? I'm gonna be in it. Brayden, Matt, move to the left. No, the other left. Your right, my left. Okay. Ruby, move closer to Brayden. No, the other Brayden. No, the other other Brayden. Good. Now, Tyler, move farther from further. Further, get nearer to the other Brayden, and farther from the other other Brayden. Uh, Hurry up and take the picture, man. What is that? Whoa, I think that plane is crashing. Did anyone get that? Come on, maybe someone needs help. Hey, are you okay? Swan, doesn't it? It looks like a cloud. Oh, come on, use your imagination for me. I guess that one sort of looks like a little bunny cloud. And see the one next to it? It looks like a lobster whispering to a ceiling fan. Uh, I guess I see the whispering part, but. And that one looks like half an onion and half my Uncle Gary. It does. And that looks like an old-timey desperado skeleton with a mustache. Really? I think it looks like a human toe trying to explain photosynthesis to a donut, but whatever. <laughs> Weirdo. No, not up there. There! Santa. He's not here yet. We have to lure him into the house with milk and cookies or he won't leave presents. How does he get in? The chimney. Duh. Well, what about the fire? Santa is fireproof. But there's 378 million kids who celebrate Christmas. Average 3.5 kids per family. That's 91.8 million homes. Even if Santa travels east to west using time zones in the Earth's rotation to gain 31 hours, he'd still need to hit 822.6 houses per second, traveling 3,000 times the speed of sound. How does he do it? He's fireproof. What was that? It sounded like something on the roof. Santa! Santa! Santa Claus. Santa? Ah! 
Ah, looks like we're head-to-head -head in our best snowman contest. There doesn't seem to be any good stuff around to decorate them, so I guess it's all downhill from here. Touché. Sadly for you, my dear, you're looking at the snowman face master. First, the eyes. <laughs> hmm. Uh, excuse me, you, uh... The nose is the key. <laughs> Stale. Hmm. And a nice stylish hat, of course. <laughs> I'm done with magic. I don't care if I break my parents' hearts. I'm going back to dental school. All right, one picture-perfect snowman coming right up. Did you find everything you needed? Did you find everything you needed? Stupid snowman building contest. Where'd she even find all that stuff anyway? Ah! Where'd you come from? Don't mind if I do. Boy, that's really on there. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. The cheese man is very disappointed in you. The cheese man? No, not the cheese man. Okay, okay, I'll hurry up. <laughs> Poor dope. Did you finish peeling those fava beans? No. Hmm. Wow, the cheese man's been in a bad mood all week. Wonder what's up with him. <sighs> it's cold. in the way. You better chop it down. I can't. It's too big. Oh? Would you do it for one of my sorcerer snacks? Uh, we could just walk around it, but sure, why not? <laughs> Oops. Sorry, nature. I guess he ate too many snacks. <laughs> Sorcerer snacks, so good you'll do anything for them. <laughs> yeah, I just watched the new TV spot and it's got a lot of potential. My only note is the commercial's terrible and we can't use it. I keep telling you the puppet thing is tired. Sorcerer snacks are a brand new product. It's time to go in a brand new direction. <laughs> Hello? No way, dude. I'm not going in there. They say that's where he is. Who? The killer clown? What, are you scared? Psst. Yeah. What, killer clowns frighten you? Sure. What are you, chicken? Yes. <laughs> is that supposed to sound like something? What, you need to call your mommy? It is getting late. Dude! Yeah? You're ruining this peer pressure thing! Oh, peer pressure. 
Okay, start over. Take it from the top. What are you scared, chicken? No! Let's just go inside. Was that better? We can do it again. <laughs> Wait. Is this peer pressure? Seems I'm the first to arrive, Uncle William. <laughs> Is someone there? Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> Kimmy, from the first moment I saw you, I vowed to spend the rest of my life by your side. Sure, those first couple years were awkward, me just standing there next to you before I built up the nerve to actually introduce myself. <laughs> oh, right! It's bad luck for you to hear my vows before the wedding! I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you were... Oh, right. You don't like me to say I'm sorry all the time because it makes you feel like you're a monster. I am so sorry. I just... stand. I just said I'm sorry again. Stupid, 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 stupid! Look, Kimmy. Come on. My Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. You know I love you. I wouldn't be marrying you if I thought you were a monster. Kimmy? <laughs> ah! Whoa! Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, let's run through a song so we can get a mix. Okay, let's play I Hate Andy, the bass player in my band. In F sharp. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> You did that on purpose. Uh, Jeff loosened my drum kit screws. I did not. This isn't working. No. All right, you guys. I'm tired of dealing with amateurs who can't get their act together. I just. Uh... All right, band meeting. Mm -hmm. Go!